Chimpanzees live in um, equatorial Africa, which is the central part of Africa. Um, they live in pretty diverse types of environments, uh, much more diverse than the other great apes, everything from tropical rainforest to almost savanna environments. They can live in large groups of 20 to 100 individuals, but it does depend on what area that they're in and how much territory and space that they have. Typically, there's a dominant male in a wild chimpanzee group. And all male chimpanzees want to be the dominant male, so they're all vying for positions. And usually, the male who becomes the top male is physically strong. But more often, it's a male who's politically savvy, as we call it, who he has his constituents that he needs to keep happy, and that's basically what they do. And a lot of times, the more dominant males also have to have the support of the high-ranking females within the group. Chimpanzees live in what we call a multi-male, multi-female group, and that's just a fancy term. There'll be more than one male and more than one female making up a chimp group. And you'll often find that they're in uh, family groups as well, so sisters will live together and they will help each other raise offspring. Whereas the males actually spend a lot of time together. The males will groom each other, they do patrol the boundaries of their territories together. The females, however, tend to emigrate or leave their group when they become sexually mature. Chimpanzees are omnivores. They're not uh, vegetarians like a lot of people think. They eat mostly fruits, ripe fruits, um, but they also eat leaves and bark and different parts of um, plant species. They eat some animals, including small things like uh, insects, uh, ants, and termites, but it's certainly the uh, meat in their diet only accounts for about 2% of their diet, so it's a very small amount, but the protein is important for them. The interesting thing about chimpanzees is they spend most of their lives knuckle walking across the forest floor for miles every day. And then when they find a fruit tree, they climb the tree and they feed on the fruit. And fruit is about three quarters of their diet in most forests. Finding food is a big part of what any wild animal does. So they spend probably 40 to 60% of their day finding food and processing food and eating. But that includes traveling from one area to another and they have to actually remember all the different fruiting trees, where they may be located, and what time of the year they would be fruiting. So a chimpanzee might travel uh, five or six or seven miles in one day from tree to tree to tree on the ground looking for sources of ripe fruit and then climb the trees when they find ripe fruit. These are tube treats and they have peanut butter on the inside with cereal stuck to it and just old paper towel tubes and toilet paper tubes. So we throw them down and they, they love peanut butter. The chimpanzee adult is about as intelligent as a two-year-old child. For instance, we know that chimpanzees can count. We know they have a very exact sense of numbers. Uh, in fact, some of the laboratory studies have shown that chimps can sequence numbers if they can recognize the the English numerals, one through 10, and put them into a proper sequence. There's this wonderful set of studies uh, working with chimpanzees, and the chimps are first asked to look at an array of numbers and to place them in order. And then you get to what is really, to me, the ultimate aspect of the study, where you start decreasing how long the initial number array is visible. So you see them and they disappear right away. And then you still have to touch the, the spots where the numbers were in the right order. And the numbers flash so fast, I can't even begin to tell you what numbers are where. And this is something humans cannot do. We, we just can't perceive things as quickly as these chimps are doing it. And even though we have a brain that is three times bigger than a chimp brain, and automatically it's a more powerful brain. So we can do more with it and we're smarter than, than a chimp. And then the question becomes, is it fundamentally different or not? And, and the only area where I think we, we really differ is in language. But in almost everything else, things related to memory or thinking or fairness or um, in all these areas, we're very similar, I think. One of the most fascinating things about great apes is that they are technological creatures. And when Jane Goodall first reported tool use and tool making by chimpanzees in 1961, it was a stunning revelation. It changed our view of animals, it changed our view of ourselves as a human animal. And of the four great apes, chimpanzees are by far the most technological. They make a wide variety of tools, dozens of different styles of manufacture. They make, uh, they make stick tools that they fashion from twigs that they use to probe into termite mounds to get termites from. And so chimpanzees are very highly technological. 
Chimpanzees are very, very well known as excellent tool users, and they use tools in many different ways. A lot of the tool use is in um, getting food. They may use big stones um, to crack nuts that are too hard for them to crack, say, with their teeth, and they use leaves to put into a hollow in a log to sponge out some of the water to get something to drink. So, I mean, it's the tool use that they have is very advanced. They think about it well in advance. A lot of times they have to actually get what the tool might be and carry it a long way and plan for use later in the day as well. Unfortunately, in the United States, one of the things that we found through research that's been done is that people do not know that chimpanzees are in danger. Well, chimpanzees are an endangered species, and there's only about 150,000 left in Africa now. And this is the time that I think that there are going to be changes with how people see chimpanzees and how chimpanzees are treated both in the wild and in captivity.